TIFU by grinning and bearing it. So I've, 30M, have been married to my husband, 30M, for almost three years now. I can't imagine my life without him. He's amazing and I love him with all my heart and soul. Right now we have a financial arrangement where he stays home most of the time and takes care of. The house and I work full time. It works really well for us I make enough money for us to do fine and he really loves taking care of the house and getting to be a house husband. This means he also does most of the cooking. He's usually a very good cook. But a few weeks back he decided to make pizza as a quick lazy meal. He got distracted. And it got burnt. Not burnt to a crisp or inedible. But definitely dark. He was very upset. Because he sometimes feels like he isn't pulling his weight if he's not doing perfectly at taking care of the house, cooking. And TBHI was really hungry and have a strong stomach. So I told him it was fine and ate the pizza. It wasn't even that bad. Just, you know, darker and crispier than normal. And I wanted to make him feel better. I told him I liked it which was only a little bit of a lie. Pizza is pizza and we moved on. Well, he's made pizza a couple times since then and it's been dark every time. Not like the first time. But definitely darker than it's ever been before. Pizza is pizza and he's a good cook so I've just eaten it. But last night we had pizza again. And he offhand commented that, I know you like it darker. So he's been mildly burning our pizza because he thinks I like it and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tell him I don't or if I'm just gonna have to eat burnt pizza for the rest of my life. TL. Dear I told my husband I liked his burnt pizza so he wouldn't be sad and now he thinks I like burnt pizza. Edit. Wrote part time instead of full time. Where on the planet would that even be possible lol. Communicate. Clarify, I like it dark, didn't mean, I dislike it dark, or even, I prefer it dark. But, it's tasty and it's pizza and light to dark doesn't matter. Okay you're an actual human. This brings back memories of when I was a newlywed and went to my in-laws for Christmas. They kept trying to push some green jello salad on me and I really didn't want any. So I told them I didn't like it because it had nuts and I didn't eat nuts. So every holiday they made me a special version of the green jello without nuts and I would get to take some leftovers home. Hated that stuff but never said anything. That's adorable. I am a husband who does all the cooking. Please tell him. He may be hurt for a minute but part of the way we show love is by making things our family likes. He will be happy in the long run if you actually enjoy what he cooks. The best part of this is. He commented that he is over cooking it because you like it that way. That means he does not like it that way. He is eating burned pizza because he cares about you and wants to make you happy. And you are eating burned pizza because you care about him and want to make him happy. You are both unhappy because you care more about each other than yourselves and neither of you is. Willing to just say, can we stop burning the pizza please? Is it really that difficult to ask for slightly less darkened pizza? Hey, let's try slightly undercook this time. Problem solved. Just say, I wanna have something different today. Pause for thinking. Oh wait I know. I haven't had the old pizzas for a while. I want to try that once more, and then say that it is the best pizza you ever had. How to get out of a lie. Lie again. I've been liking the less crispy slices lately. So it seems like your tastes have just changed over time. Shit my wife might be right. Maybe I am a sociopath. Time to say you are fed up with pizza for the rest of your life. Tackle the real issues underlying the pizza. Insecurity and communication. Sweetie, I love you, and I want you to know that I love you for you. 
I didn't communicate clearly about the pizza. I loved the pizza, not because it was dark, but because you made it, and made it with love. Ask to try it less crispy. I'm gluten-free and dairy-free. My grandma felt bad that I couldn't eat her cookies. So she decided to start making ones I could eat from scratch. Picture a cookie that looks like jerky. Like leather. IDKH to describe it. But I couldn't tell her that I didn't like them. So for about three years now whenever I visit. Which is often. She makes me those cookies and I force myself to eat at least two or three of them, and take the rest. Home, if you know what I mean. She's starting to get some memory problems and she often forgets about my dietary restrictions. When I remind her, oh sorry grandma, but I think that has X in it. She always replies, at least I remember the cookies. This is quite possibly the cutest TIFU I've seen in weeks. Thank you. With all of the stuff going on in the world, it's nice to see. I wanted to cheer my partner up and now my food is slightly burnt because he thinks I like it. I don't think there's anything wrong with admitting you told a lie out of respect for his feelings. I think he would be the first one to tell you he doesn't want you eating burnt pizza unless you want to. I also say this as a house husband, stay at home dad. Lol you should just tell him that you need to tell him something. Please don't burn the pizza anymore. I like it normal and the more I eat it like this the more I'm not liking it. But thanks for caring enough to do it like this. But let's just move forward from here. And that's it. Just say, I wouldn't say I prefer it darker. It's just still fine if it comes out a litter darker than you meant it to. You've got to be able. To tell your husband what you like and what you don't like or you'll end up eating food you hate regularly for the rest of your life. He is trying so hard to make you happy that it's an injustice to not tell him the truth. I'm older and mostly a breadwinner. But I've also done three years in your husband's shoes. Make this into a heartfelt learning type talk. It's really a small thing. But having the small discussion as important lays the groundwork for making the important talks smaller, more open, and better than bad pizza. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.